Here I have a BlackBerry K1 and let me show you top tricks, the secret features for the following device. They will help you on your daily basis. So at the very beginning, let me show you Notable, the first super app. So open the list of all applications and then select the pink icon, the Notable, and tap on the white screen. And now we can either upload some image by tapping on this icon, on plus icon, and now you, as you can see, you can add a picture, take a picture or add an emoji so let me add some emoji for example this one so locate it whenever you want to then tap on T if you would like to add some text you can type whatever you want to so for example let me enter hard reset you can change the uh, size of it simply by using your fingers you can also change the color by tapping twice on T letter then you can select the pen Tap twice to select the color, close it by tapping on the pen one more time, and now you can draw whatever you want to. And once your piece of art is ready, you can share it with your friends, so just tap on share icon. And now you can either send it via email, via messages, you can use whichever platform of social media that you prefer. So let's go back. You can also save it to your gallery, so just tap on more icon over here and select save as. Now you can name it, so let me name it Art and tap on save. Now it will be in your gallery, but if you would like to delete this picture, just tap on clear image. And now we can start from the scratch and let me show you where it can be found. So just open the gallery, photos, and now here is your art, here is your beautiful image. Then let's go to the second super trick, which is BlackBerry Redactor. This feature will help you in hiding private and sensitive information before creating a screenshot. So just open the list of all apps and then find Redactor. So once tapped, it's on. And now simply by doing sliding on the sensitive information that you would like to hide, you can hide them. You can, of course, add some other platform over here and now you can create a screenshot where all these informations are hidden and you, are, you don't have to be worried that someone will see something that you want them to notice. So let's go back and if you will tap on back icon, the previous one, uh, you can exit the redactor. So just tap on exit this mode. And that's it, here's your screenshot. So let's go back. I can save the screenshot. And now let's go to the third super option, which is motion control. So at the very beginning, open the list of all applications. Then you have to select the settings. Here you have to find and pick display. And now by going to the very bottom of the list, actually not actually to lock screen uh, you can activate some super features for example option tap to wake so if it will be deactivated you can activate it just by tapping and since now double tap anywhere on the screen will wake your device so let me show you if your device will be asleep you can double tap and now it's on so let's go back to the settings display and lock screen you can also select the ambition display so it will wake screen when you receive notification and obviously you can switch it off and you can also add used font size and display size so just tap on font size and here simply by tapping on this switcher you can make uh, you can add some largest or select the default one or smaller the smallest font size let's go back as you can see now the font size is truly small and uh, let's go back to default one to, or even to large one uh, to make everything more clear. And also we can change the display size here. So as you can see now, if you will receive any messages, it can be that huge or let's go back to default or even the small one. So now we will be able to see more contact, content while you are reading some messages with your friends. So that's it, let's go back. And now I will show you super trick, which is privacy shade. 
so you don't have to be worried that someone in a bus will see what you are doing on your phone. So just open the list of all applications, then go to the privacy, privacy shade, it's a black icon. And now, just by tapping over here, the scrolling, you can see the content that you want to see and nobody else will be able to see the rest of the screen. So let's, if you would like to go back, select some other options, for example, maps, it's just the same story. So if you'll be reading some email or message, you can do it. So just pick calendar and it's working the same way. Okay, I have the activate calendar. So as you can see now, only the this particular content is to see. So let's go back and let's, let's tap on this icon to switch off this mode. And finally, let's go to Password Keeper, which is truly useful and very important if you have several passwords and you often uh, often use them. So just pick uh, Password Keeper. It's also a black icon. And now just follow these steps. So tap on Next. Now you can backup passwords from your Google account. If you have one, I don't have one here. So tap on Next then you have to enter the password that will protect the other passwords. So let me enter hard reset, then enter it one more time to confirm. Obviously we uh, recommend some uh, stronger password, but for now that will be enough. Continue as you can see, I entered a weak password. Thanks Blackberry for notification. You can also use a fingerprint to um, to have an access to your passwords. And now you can add some password, you can restore them or import them. So you can do whatever you want to. You can add, for example, bank account, bank account. Here you can enter the website, username, your password, and then just tap on generate password. You can also add some notes. So actually that's it. Here you can keep several passwords so you don't have to be worried that you will forget some of them. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel and leave the thumbs up.